What did I do? C7 Viper! Okay guys, as you can see we have a lot to get through today so I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, please subscribe, join the team. All you have to do is click the little red subscribe button and you're part of the team. And today I'm going to be using my phone charging cable to open all these boxes. These are the Evic Boneyard boxes. I was so happy with the results from the last two that I bought seven more. I did pick them up at $15 a piece when they had a flash sale. They were like 61% off. All of this only cost $105. Free shipping. I got seven because they were 15 each and that added up to free shipping and that's what we want. So let's just open the first one and see what we got. These were literally just delivered. The UPS guy was not happy. Ooh, USB charger. Now I use an Android. Are you team Android or are you iPhone? Either way, you can still be on this team, but I'm Android. So is Mrs. Viper. This is pretty easy. Okay, we got through the first box with my phone charger. I hope I can charge my phone by the end of this video. So again, these are $15 Boneyard boxes from Evic. They were originally $39. It's gonna be interesting. We have seven. There will be doubles, I'm sure. So I'm just gonna blow through some items. Here we go. First, paper. All right, I see something very familiar and I'm probably gonna have a lot of these. It is another best in cryptic camo. This one looks like it's got more pouches. This one has a back pouch and some more on the side still has an admin pouch and a triple m4 pouch but this one has a pouch on the side and a back pouch which the other one didn't have and a big backpack so the other two that we got in the last video didn't have all these extra pouches i think that's a big bonus because the plain ones we got last time were worth 40 dollars a piece and this one has extra pouches so that's really cool that's right there on top oh wow let's go through the patches first we got one two three four star wars patches and operation bad blood patch i was not at that op but i have a friend who was i see a hex patch i don't think i've seen that one before i got a hello kitty punisher here is a little battery compartment for something somebody told me last time these are for drum mags here's another patch it says rd tactical i got an allen key a wii co2 tool here is um a ball? Somebody tell me what that is. And they don't go together either. There's two halves of a ball. Speed loader, baby pistol sized unjamming rod. Okay, that's a forward grip, rail mounted grip. That could go on this rail. Got a whole metal rail here, key mod. I could definitely use that. It looks like it's all there. This is an M14 mag, M14 190 round uh, sticker that says BB. That looks like a stock inner barrel. Some kind of USB cable. A little bit of some sort. I don't know. This is a little piece of metal. Another hex patch that says EMG. Cardboard box. Ugh. Ugh. Trash. Garbage. Wall charger. Garbage. And it looks like we have two more things. This is a CO2 mag. It says SIG on the bottom plate. So it's a SIG CO2 mag. It looks pretty new. There's a few scuffs on the side. It doesn't look broken or anything. I'm going to have to see if it holds CO2. And then an AEP. This is an electric pistol. Let me see if there's a battery or anything in it first. There is a LiPo in it. There's a LiPo. I was about to buy one of these. There's a LiPo battery in it. It works, sort of. I'm going to have to get the battery out real quick. All right, so I just got out my trusty LiPo checker and... It has 55% on the LiPo, so that's a brand new $20 AEP LiPo, and I have tons of AEPs. I don't know if it works. It doesn't sound like it. I'm going to plug it back in and pull the trigger. It didn't sound right. Something didn't sound right. So something seems up with the internals of this AEP. Just to have a LiPo battery for an AEP is really cool. This is a SEMA, so maybe I can fiddle with it and get it working again. Maybe something's loose inside of it. Just for the battery and spare mag, that would be worth it. Remember, I spent 15 a box. I got an AEP, LiPo battery, key mod rail, CO2 mag, and a cryptic vest, plus all these little things like a speed loader, about a dozen patches, and a forward grip. The rest is pretty much junk, but first box, I'd say we're winning already. That was all worth 15 to me. Box number two. Ooh, this one's a bit heavier. Again, USB charger. I'm pretty sure someone on Discord asked me to use my phone charger. If you're not a member of the Discord, go to the link in the description and join. I always chat over there and we take recommendations for what I should open a box with. And I give you guys behind the scenes photos and 
information. It's worth it. Here we go, box number two. We gotta blow through these again. I'm gonna put it down here. More paper, a familiar sign. I'm not even gonna open this one. It's identical to the last one, but it is a cryptic vest. We got doubles again of the front grip speed loader, barrel, ugh, charger, half of a ball. Still don't know what this is. RD tactical patch, more Star Wars patches, BB sticker, Hello Kitty Punisher patch, Operation Bad Blood patch, another Star Wars patch. Here's another Operation Bad Blood Ranger Eye from 2016, the Mexico hex patch, Air Tech Studios, another tiny pistol cleaning rod, pistol tool, another half for that ball, box mag battery compartment thingy, another USB cord for something. I don't know what this is, but it's like a neoprene case for something. A mag, this is a heavy mag, a GHK mag gas blowback rifle. That's a brand new GHK gas blowback. I don't have whatever this goes to. Heavy, very heavy. Heavy test. Another mag. This looks like it's an s and like MMP series gas blowback mag. This is cool. It's a replica sight. It says Firefield. No batteries. It's by Sightmark and it says Firefield on it. Here's a hard case. Weapon mounted light. Fast 302 Opsman. This is like one of those wish hard cases that I get. Oh, okay. This is a an M-Lock flashlight. I don't think it has batteries. It does. They're probably dead. A pressure switch, O-ring, and an Allen key for mounting. And this is some Velcro. Weapon mounted M-Lock flashlight. And then last but not least, another AEP. It's doing the same thing. It's making the same noise, which means there's a battery in it. An AEP LiPo battery inside this one also. Let's test it out. 53%. So a pretty similar box. There were a few differences. I really like the sight the gas mags, and the flashlight. Other than that, they're pretty similar. Number three. Let me know down below if you guys think all these boxes will be identical or if I'll get something different. The last two we got were pretty identical, but these are different than those last two. Phone charger's gonna be rough by the end of this. We are in. First thing I see, paper, and another vest. Identical, cryptic camo vest. It's the third in a row, five total. I guess they're just using these as packing material now. That's what it seems like. Right off the bat, we have identical front grip barrel. What is this blue ball? They don't even go together. Garbage charger, some patches. We got the same patches. This one's a little different. It is an Echo One, it's blue, Echo One patch. Another Bad Blood patch, RD Tactical patch, BB sticker. Another LiPo battery, this is a 74350 Titan. Titan batteries are awesome. This would be for more of a HPA setup. Let's see. It is dead. Why would they even include it? This does nothing. This is trash. Once a lipo hits zero, garbage. A little compartment for batteries. A motor grip for an M4. We tool. Some kind of padding. It says UF Pro. Some kind of lower plastic cover for a mask. Oh, here's the mask. They go together. Oh, but it's broken. The goggles are still good. The mask isn't holding on by much. MTX part. A little cylinder of some sort. A 1911 single stack gas blowback mag. A forward grip. It's missing the little things on the side. Here's a couple of gears. Double cycle modify quantum gear set and it's missing a few pieces. So there's just a couple gears in there. A gearbox to something. Half of a pistol. Literally half. Ooh, this wasn't a winning box. It looks like a Wii Tech. Raccoon Police Stars gas pistol frame. Only one half of the grip and then a bunch of little parts floating freely in there. So that's definitely not a full pistol. Oh well, we still have more boxes to get through. So I don't know what most of that stuff was. It was pretty much junk. This is a heavy box. This one's heavier. Like I said, some of them weigh different amounts and this one was slightly heavier than the rest, I believe. Some of them have already been ripped open in transit. One of them was like completely open. Let's see what we got. Paper. Some more packing vests. Evic is so nice to just use packing vests. Every box has a vest to keep stuff from moving around. So nice of them. A lot of the same stuff. Patches, patches, same grip, more patches. Here is a, <laughs> I need this one. This is a hex patch that says Princess Protection Agency. Kind of my job around here, huh? Mag Force International sticker, more patches, another tool. Got, what? <sighs> Little battery compartment, ugh. USB speed loader. Got another hex patch down here that says AirTech Studios. It's a Walther P99 mag from Maruzen. That's really cool. You don't really see too many Maruzen airsoft things anymore. I don't have a P99 
Maybe I should get one. An AUG mag, high cap, works. Don't have an AUG yet though. Here is a CO2 fill. So you put a CO2 in there and then you should be able to fill green gas items with CO2. It's called the Fist 2. Okay. And another one. They must have just had a bad batch of SEMA AEPs or something. Let's see if it does anything. Nope, it is fried also, which means it has a lipo in it. 53%, they're all at about 53%. Don't ever wanna leave your lipos plugged in, so I'm just gonna unplug it right now and leave it in there. But that's three AEP lipo batteries that work and three AEPs that do not. But you get a spare mag with every broken AEP. And there is something else in here, a box. I hope what this is is actually inside this box because it is a PSO scope. This is ridiculous. This is a Dragonoff PSO scope. These are like over $100 usually. Let's open it up. It says 4x26 SVD. Instructions for scope SVD style. It's a legitimate PSO with the eye relief and everything. It works. It comes on. It's got a battery. It's illuminated. It's an SVD scope, guys. This is a win. This is huge. Insane. And it comes with another spare battery underneath of it. Why? This must have been like a product sample. Maybe a display model. Rail mount works and everything. The switch on and off works. This is crazy. These are usually about $100 or more. That makes up for the last box where it had half of a raccoon police department pistol. I'm impressed. Moving right along. We're going to take the smashed one. This one was definitely crushed in shipping and part of it was open. The tape is coming off. Not thrilled about how poorly some of these were packed, but I know how they do it. They pack them all ahead of time, store them in a warehouse, and then ship them as you order them. That way, it's completely random. They do that with BOAs and swag packs also, and I can appreciate that. Just wish there was a little more tape on them. Bets on what's in this one. Do you guys think there's gonna be a vest or a weird blue ball? How about some paper? That made me dizzy. First two things. I'm not kidding, vest in a weird blue ball. Another grip, patches, they're all the same. The BB sticker, ugh, charger. Speed loader, AUG high cap, works. I don't know to what, but a little baggie of loose gas pistol parts, that's okay. Bolt, assembly of some sort. Honestly, I don't know half of these internal parts. Another gas pistol mag, not sure exactly what it goes to. How about this? It says Firefield and it is a peck box. I will not be checking if there's batteries now and if there is, they're dead, but it is a peck box. Feels like metal. Another AEP. Everyone has an AEP. Shipping LiPo batteries plugged in, not a fan. 54%, another LiPo. And there's this, P-Mod rail, and this one's a full length rifle rail. Inside the package, it says APS Conception Phantom, APS Phantom Striker Rail. We got number six. See, this one's open. This one was already open. I haven't even begun. I can just go and get this end, this end, and it's open. But it's packed really well because it's got, oh, there's a patch. A, B negative patch. It was on top of the paper. And there's the paper. And then there's more packing material. This one's falling out of its bag. Identical vest as the rest of them. Grip, speed loader, charger. Got a barrel, barrel spacer plastic piece on it. Patches, patches, patches. What are these? This is an adapter that goes from Tamiya to Dean's. Mag brand M14 190 round, AEP. Does it work? No, every one of these, something's wrong. But once I figure out what's wrong with one, I'm gonna have like six working APs. I take the battery out, I don't trust it. Yeah, real quick at that now. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna be able to disassemble these in my sleep. You should always get a lipo checker. These things are awesome. They're only like $15, 55%. Okay, so another good lipo. There's one more thing. This is a hard case. FMA PEC box. This is a nicer PEC box than the last one. It does not currently work. There's probably no batteries in it. There are no batteries in the PEC box. The pressure switch with the Velcro goes here and then you attach that to your rail. Press it and then you would get a laser if there was a battery in it. That's probably worth a good bit. If it works, I'm gonna have a big mess when I'm done. Last, but not least, this one's a little heavier. I saved this one because it's a little heavier. Also, it was on the bottom. Phone charger, right through it. Good job, phone charger. I hope you still charge my phone. Paper, a packing vest, 
so many vests over here. I'm gonna go through the usual. Grip. Somebody tell me what this ball is. USB thingy. Patches. More patches. More of the same patches. More of the same patches. Here's a patch I don't have. Ooh. It's a hex patch. It's an Evic hex patch and it says, my pen is bigger than yours. And it has a picture of a pen. If you know, you know. That's what she said. That's what she said. I hope she didn't say that. Um, barrel. Trash battery charger. Don't ever use those. Speed loader. Pistol. How could I get seven of the same AEP? Not one of them works. The battery does though. That means all I have to do is get one of these pistols working and I've got mags and lipos for days. I only got six. So we got six. Lipo tester. Anyone guess? I'm thinking 55%. 53%. And there's a couple more things in here. This is what's left of an M140 high torque GMP motor. It's definitely a small type motor, but a large shaft on it. That's what she said. Thank you. I don't know if this motor will work, but the GMP custom motors are pretty expensive. So if it does work, that's cool. Here's a mag. This is just a paperweight. This is why the box was so heavy. It's an extendo mag, but it's missing the feed lip the spring, the base plate, and pretty much every other part. So this is just a paperweight. Here's another reason why the box is so darn heavy. This is a 25 count Cam Mark II cartridges for APS. Uh, they look used. There might actually be more because it doesn't close. I think there's like one extra. And a sight. It won't turn on, but it's a nice tan red dot. I'm sure that you can put a battery in it. It's probably a button cell and there's no battery in it. At least it's not corroded terminals or anything. I can put a battery in it and it's got a cool tan finish. It feels plastic, but that's it. Final box emptied. Ugh. Okay, this is everything. The cumulative amount of items that we got from seven $15 Boneyard boxes. We got seven cryptic vests, seven grips that go on front rails, six AEPs that don't work, but each one came with a LiPo battery that did work. And if worse comes to worse, I've just got spare AEP mags for days. We've got a plethora of gas and electric magazines, quite a few different scopes, rails, sights, a whole bunch of speed loaders, barrels, some miscellaneous internal parts, and then a pile of weird cables and such. It does look like they literally go through a boneyard, throw random stuff into a box, put a couple good things in each box to make it worth it, and then send it off. Most of this, very useful stuff. I love the SVD scope. That was a huge win. I think that was the best thing that I've ever gotten from a boneyard box. Everything else is pretty useful. Again, a lot of this stuff I won't need, so it'll go in the giveaway bin. And when we hit 25k, 50k and 100k we're gonna have some insane mystery box giveaways it's gonna have a little of everything from all the videos that i've done stuff that i don't need and that i think you might want this stuff included if you guys got a boneyard box what was in it did you have similar stuff was it different did you get a win i know somebody that messaged me on instagram and said they got three ags out of four boxes then he sent me the pictures and sure enough he got three ags out of four boxes. I kind of got six. They're APs though, and they don't work. And somebody, please, tell me what these are. They're just screw pieces. They don't go together, and there's like 14 of them. I need to know. But that's it for me today, guys. Like it if I made you laugh, because I'll do it again. Please consider subscribing and joining the team. Oh my god. What? There's a spider on the ground. Ask it nicely to not interfere with our recording. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Here's a blue thing. No, a blue thing. <laughs>